Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Christian the Barbecue. And today, we're doing some hamburgers on the new, my new Weber Kettle Grill Master Touch. Get some burgers on first. I also got some hot dogs, which I'll do later. Uh, so I'm going to season everything up. I'm going to take it downstairs and then I'll show you the Weber. See you in a minute. did to get this thing going I use my charcoal chimney I like to use b, &B lump coal so I loaded it about halfway and got it going once I had the coals that I wanted there's two different two different zones here So what I did, half the chimney went in on one side, the other half over here, okay? So there's two different trays that I'm using. So I'm gonna sear over here, and then in the center, and that's where I'm gonna cook the meat first. Okay, I like to use the reverse sear method. So again, charcoal chimney, and loaded it about halfway with the lump coal. Got it going about 10, 15 minutes then dumped half on one side, half on the other side. Right now it's at around 400. I'm gonna throw these on there first and then I'll have the hot dogs. Um, but that's, that's pretty much it. It's, it's pretty easy to do, nothing complicated. But this is my first time using the Weber Kettle, kettle Grill. So pretty excited to try it out. Um, so I'm gonna get this on the grill. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. All right guys, so now I'm gonna flip these over. It's been uh, about three, four minutes. I'm gonna flip them over, leave it on for another three to four minutes, and then just kind of flip them around uh, depending on how well they're being cooked. All right guys, welcome back. Okay, so all I've been doing here is as i mentioned i was going to go ahead and do the reverse sear now i'm just finishing it off by searing the burgers the ones that are done i have them up here on the warming rack but once i start searing all i'm going to do is i'm going to leave the lid open because i want to see some flames get it nice and hot it'll sear the outside and then i'm done and then lastly i have the hot dogs on that's pretty easy to do i just throw them on there and just keep an eye on them and just flip them as needed uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it guys. I really like this grill. It has a lot of space. Very easy to use. Uh, first time using it. And I'm going to try a couple of different things. Um, you know, just so I can continue to get the most out of this thing. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to continue to see more of these videos. And also like the video if you like the content. Until um, next time, we'll see you later.